welcome back everyone. So finding all the collectibles in this chapter is going to take a little bit longer than it has in some of the previous ones that we've done so far. So let's go ahead and get started. So like most areas, this one's going to start out with one as soon as you enter it. So you'll see the giant bird in the middle. All you got to do is go to your right, go past the vending machine, and you'll see it right here against the wall. The next two collectibles are going to be in the same room, so from the very beginning of the level, you can go to your right to pick up some lockpicks. We're going to need some to go through the door on your left. So if you go to the vending machine, and um, you'll see them on the crate right there, you can pick them up. And then we're going to go over to our left, and you'll see the locked door in front of you. There's another lockpick right beside this toolbox. So pick those up, have her unlock the door. Once she does, you're going to go in, and you'll see this kind of filing system. Right beside it on the desk, you'll find the first collectible. And from that point, we're just going to look to our right and continue on into the room, and you'll see it in the open safe right here. The next two that we're going to pick up are also really close together, so you're going to come out of the building and you'll see this gate, you'll see the airship go by above you, and I left it in because I'm going to use this gate as reference for a lot of the collectibles later. So when you go through and look to your left, you'll see an ice cream shop, and to the left of it, you'll find the first collectible in this area. So from this point, we're actually going to go inside of the ice cream shop now. So you'll see it right here. And when you go in, if you look at the table on your left, you'll see it right there. So starting from the gate, like I said, we're going to come back here um, for reference to avoid confusion. Instead of going to the left from the ice cream shop, we're just going to go straight forward. And you'll go past all this stuff, and then you're going to want to look right. And that'll put you directly in front of the bookstore. So to find the collectible, all you got to do is make your way inside to the very back, and you'll find it by the railing. Remember, boys and girls, don't be a dimwit. How could you not know that? Must be something particular to oh, I... For this next one, you're going to want to follow your waypoint to the elevator as you're making your way to the Hall of Heroes. Before you get on the elevator, you can pick up a lot pick here by the toolbox. I had already picked it up, so you won't see it on my screen. But we are going to have her um, pick a lock in here, so you're going to need some. And if you didn't pick that one up, if you come in, you'll find one right here to your right by the broken vending machine. And you'll also find one in the bathroom right there. So once you have those, we're just going to make our way to the door on the left side of the room. Have her pick the lock as usual. There's going to be a turret inside, so be careful once you go in. You'll see it. It'll be right here. So you can either use possession or destroy it. And if you make your way back, you'll see the collectible on the desk. So once you exit that room and you're back in the kind of main area, you're going to pick up Bucking Bronco. And once you get it, when you go into the next area, there's going to be a lot of enemies you have to kill. There's going to be one of the crow guys, regular guys, and turrets. So make sure you're prepared for that. And from that point, we're going to go to our right through this door that says Tickets. And we're going to find the collectible to the left of this cannon against the wall. The next one that we're going to pick up is in this area as well. So from the collectible, you're going to head upstairs and go to your left. On the other side of these vending machines I just passed, you'll find a lock pick. Of course, there's money under that one. And you'll find the collectible right here on the railing next to the salt and the gun. The next three collectibles that we're going to get are going to be in the same building. But before we enter that area, make sure you pick up this code book from the cannon. It's not going to make a difference for the first collectible that we pick up, but you won't be able to get the next one without it. So once you have the code book, we're just going to make our way into the bar across the street. I think it's called The Fellow Traveler. And you can either go to your left and go in that way, but I came in the front way just because it puts you directly in front of the collectible. And you'll see it right here on the cabinets. So from this point, we're going to make our way into the restrooms, and we're going to use the code book to decipher a code. So go in the first door that you see here, and you'll see the writing on the wall. Investigate it, and Elizabeth will tell you that um, you need to check out this hat. So just back up and go into the next um, bathroom. You'll open the secret door once you tip the hat. 
and you'll find the collectible as soon as you get down the stairs in front of you on the desk area. And you'll find the last one in this building directly to the right, and it'll be right there in front of you. The next two that you're going to find are going to be in the same area, so follow your waypoint. We're still trying to make our way to the Hall of Heroes. You'll have to use this um, lever to clear the skyline. So once you do that, we're going to attach to it. And I just kind of left all this in here, so there's no way that you could possibly be confused. So just follow it up and then attach to the next one. And I just stayed on it until I stopped, that because that's going to put you directly beside the gondola where the collectible is anyways. So this is as far as you can go. You'll see the gondola on the left, so you can just dismount right beside it. And you'll find the collectible back here on the chair. So from this point, we're just going to make our way up to the Hall of Heroes. Make sure you don't exit the area and actually go into the Hall of Heroes. There's also going to be a lot of snipers and enemies in this area. I've already went through and cleared everyone out, so make sure that you're ready for that. But just follow the stairs up. That's where you'll go through for the Hall of Heroes. But before you go in there, look to your right, and you'll find the collectible right here. So that's going to do it for me. If you made it through all that, then you just picked up all the collectibles for Chapter 8, Soldier's Field. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I can help you with the other ones.